So when mm-hmm. we talk about soul mate, we're talking about we're seeing ourselves in the other person. We're yeah. seeing our own psyche in that other person. So if you're unconscious, unevolved, um, you're going to project all the things that you don't, the greatness you don't think you have, and all the worst things that you don't think you have onto this other person. So it's going to be this these relationships that are very high and intense, and they're they're the shiny lights, and then they completely crush you. You know, it's the, those extremes, and it's because you're you're kind of looking for that person to. Um, you're seeing yourself in that person, but you don't realize it. You're seeing the unlived self in that person, which Jung called the shadow. So if you haven't done shadow work, you're, it's a, mm. a big projection. Now, it doesn't mean that that's not your soulmate and you can't grow in that relationship. Right. But that level is, the, the more you grow, the more that relationship can grow. It's always a reflection of where you're at. So I think a lot of times people find this is not not the right person for me, so I need to get someone else. And they keep trying to change the person versus changing themselves. <laughs> like I just, uh, he was the wrong guy, got to go to the next one. And then, or the wrong girl, I don't have that chemistry with that person. I got to keep searching and they're looking outside for something they lack or something they don't know within themselves. And they end up yeah, so kind of repeating patterns. and Yeah, so we go back to Jung's model, then he's talking about the anima animas. Mm-hmm. And we can just say soul here, yeah. because that, that's really what he means in, in a psychological sense. That you need to be in touch with your own soul in order to participate in a love relationship in a more mature way. Because if you're projecting your soul onto the other person... Mm-hmm. That's part of it because that gives you that experience of, oh my God, I met somebody who just is completely different than any other human being. But we know it's a projection because if it was that person, everyone would love them. (laughs) Everyone would see that beauty and and that divinity Mm -hmm. in them. But it's it's our projection, right? Mm -hmm. We're seeing our potential, our divine essence in that other person. So our inner concept is projected outward uh, in that person, that unknown inner concept in that other person. So yeah. I always find that um, if you're not connect, the well, let's talk about the anima animus. Jung said beneath the personal unconscious, we have a soulful self, which in most cases takes, if you're a woman, it takes a form, masculine form. If you're a man, it takes a feminine form, the anima animus. And that's that, part that compels you to connect with the other person and if you're not connected to that part of your soul inside it's going to appear that that person out there has all this spiritual power because you're not really seeing Mm. your own you're not recognizing it within yourself so it's that's why shadow work is so important because it's the shadow kind of covers over that soul and that that pure nature that we are that pure potential and all our patterns from our childhood and our life distort that other person we're seeing not only them we're seeing this divine but then it's it's covered up with our Mm. own stuff and if we don't see the filter we're not going to see the person as they really are we're not going to love the person for who they are and um, and that's why sometimes when you meet someone and you're not really attracted to them at first and then you do some work and all of a sudden you're like oh my god this my soulmate's been next to me my whole time i've had a couple people um, who read my book say that they read my book and then they re- didn't realize that their best friend or people have mm. taken our, our, our workshops, their best friend who's been there next to them their whole for 10 years or 20 years, when they did the shadow work, all of a sudden they saw them in a different light. It's like, so the person didn't change, it's you changed. And so when you, um, you know, Blake says, when the, the um, w- doors of perception are cleansed, we see things as they truly are infinite and that's kind of when we really truly have that deep soul mate connection we see infinity through them we see our own divine through them yeah yeah so that projection is really uh the key to understanding love in a much deeper way and, and understanding that the it's the individual that has to connect with their soul in order to participate in a true love relationship otherwise the projection it starts to fade it cannot last forever 
In other words, keeping up that projection is impossible because you, you, when you start to uh, uh, know the person, you see that, oh, they're just human beings like everybody else and they have fa faults and foibles and picadillos. And then the, the person who is projecting onto the other person uh, feels betrayed because they say, you... You presented yourself as this divine. You cheated love me. You person. lied to me. <laughs> yeah, and and now you're sh you're showing me your human side, mm -hmm. and that's when they feel like, oh, I'm falling out of love. I don't love this person anymore, and they start to project onto other people, and on they go. Right? You see the, these repetitive patterns playing out.